Bring him back. Baltimore Ravens is what we have heard from a lot of the Ravens flock over the past 24 hours in regards to both Mark Ingram and Justin Houston. And before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn notifications on because I do not want you to miss not one single update about these Baltimore Ravens or anything else that's going on. And also... Leave a like on the video too. Click the thumbs up button because it does help out the channel a lot. And hey, who knows? Maybe if you click enough likes, then the Ravens will bring one or both of these guys back if that's what you want, of course. Now, let's start off with Mark Ingram. Uh, of course, with Keaton Mitchell. Uh, we got the bad news the other day that Keaton Mitchell, uh, he would be out for the remainder of the season. John Harbaugh let us know. And then the following day, it was said that Keaton Mitchell, he tore his ACL. Uh, so that was officially him being done. And with Keaton Mitchell, uh, I guess the good news amongst all that bad news is that it was a clean tear. There was no additional damage to his cartilage or anything like that. So, I mean, we'll take it. We'll take any good news that we can get in regards to Keaton Mitchell injury. But the bottom line is that he suffered an injury and he will not be a part of the Baltimore Ravens for the remainder of this year. And that sucks. That's a huge blow for the big Baltimore Ravens because Keaton Mitchell, he, he came on strong. He came on late. Uh, but when he started playing, he made a huge, huge impact with the Baltimore Ravens. And in my opinion, like straight up, his impact that he made, I don't think it's replaceable. I don't think you could just pick up somebody or elevate somebody or sign somebody to replace Keaton Mitchell because of what he did and how he did it. You can't just find somebody off the street who can do that. But a lot of Ravens fans have been wondering, should the Baltimore Ravens have a reunion with a running back who brought unmatched energy? An unmatched vibe to the Baltimore Ravens when he was with the Baltimore Ravens, that being Mark Ingram. Because we know the inventor, the originator of Big Trust is none other than who? Yeah, Mark Ingram. And we know just his energy. It's sort of like Odell Beckham Jr. His energy on the Baltimore Ravens this year, that's the same thing that Mark Ingram brought, but just at a different position because he was a running back. And even the, 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 the energy matched his play too because Mark Ingram wasn't just here to be a motivator. He wasn't just here as a hype man. No, 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 no. His first year here, he went for over 1,000 yards. He got a 10 touchdowns. So Mark Ingram's impact was both on and off the field. So could the Ravens look to get that old thing back? Well, my guy, Game of God 29 who is one of the best Baltimore Ravens follows on Twitter, he tweeted this a couple of days ago. He said, the last dance. And it was a picture of Mark Ingram in a Ravens jersey. So that tweet started popping off. But guess who caught wind of that tweet? Mr. Mark Ingram himself. And he tweeted a video and said, hit my line. So is Mark Ingram trying to come back to the crib? Is Mark Ingram trying to come back to the Baltimore Ravens where he had a lot of success his first year? Second year wasn't so pretty, but the second year, that's when the Ravens drafted J.K. Dobbins and uh, J.K. did his thing. And of course, Gus Edwards, he did his thing as well. But should the Ravens make that move for a Mark Ingram? Well, um, when you think about, again, the vibes, the energy of uh, his personality, Oh, it would be great. It, it would be amazing. And Mark Ingram, somebody that uh, is a good third down, back catching passes out of the backfield. He could help in pass protection. But as far as running, um, I just I, I don't feel like the impact would be there like that. I mean, you already got a Gus Edwards. You got a Justice Hill. Now with Mark Ingram, he is somebody that you can trust with the football in his hands. Um, but ah, I don't know, man. Like, if they brought him back, cool, but I just, because again, Keaton Mitchell, Keaton Mitchell, lightning in the bottle, explosive plays, boom, just like that. If they brought Mark Ingram back, and, and even with Mark Ingram, we, we remember um, his last year with the Baltimore Ravens, where he did start getting less opportunities, but in my opinion, he just, he wasn't the same running back that he had been the year prior. And again, now the opportunity, they did decrease. And not saying that he will come here and get like a boatload of, of runs or anything like that. But I think if they were to bring Mark Ingram back, it would be more so for what he brought to the Baltimore Ravens culture, what he brought to the locker room. But can you use a roster spot on somebody mainly bringing something to the locker room over them producing? Hey, that's up to you. And now I know a lot of Ravens fans, when they look, they, they will look at uh, who the Baltimore Ravens are expected to bring up, that being Melvin Gordon. And I know a lot of Ravens fans would prefer Mark Ingram over a Melvin Gordon. Gordon um but hey you you never know well I guess it's one of those things that we'll see when we see now 
Somebody else who is also a free agent um, is Justin Houston. Now, Justin Houston, he signed with the Carolina Panthers this offseason, and it has not been pretty there at all. They had a top pick this year. Now they're getting ready to have another top pick. Oh, wait a minute. No, they I think they traded it to Chicago. But either way, regardless, the, the Panthers are a really, really bad football team right now. They are in the dumps. They are in the mud. Everything is going all kinds of bad uh, for the Carolina Panthers. So I'm not sure what Justin Houston, if he requested it, if he asked for it, or if the Panthers just say, you know what, we ain't doing you no favors with you being here We'll go ahead and release you. However it happened, the Panthers are releasing and have released Justin Houston. Now, a lot of Ravens fans are like wondering, hey, Ravens, should they bring him back? Should they bring Justin Houston back to the crib? And I even tweeted. I said, oh, Yoda, Yoda must want to come home for this playoff run, huh? Do we have any room on the practice squad? Because when you look at the Baltimore Ravens roster, they, I mean, it's all filled up right now. Now, Keaton Mitchell, he still uh, has to go to injury reserve, so that's going to open up one more roster spot. But you figure that that will go to Melvin Gordon. But if Melvin Gordon goes to the active roster, then that would open up a squad, uh, a spot on the actual practice squad for whoever the Baltimore Ravens would choose. And they're going to have their options on how they want to fill that practice squad spot. Uh, but should they go after Justin Houston? Now, when you look at the numbers for Justin Houston, it's very weird because looking at his numbers this year, it ain't so pretty. Because Justin Houston, uh, in all the games that have been played this year by the Carolina Panthers, in all the games that he has played this year as a Carolina Panther, he has a whopping half a sack. Half a sack, not a whole sack, not two sacks, not three, not four, not five, no, a whopping half of one sack. So you look at it and like, whoa, do the Baltimore Ravens really want that? Somebody who got a sack and, and we almost done with the whole season. He got to have a sack. It's not pretty. But then you look the previous year when he was with the Baltimore Ravens and we know that he had got hot for a little bit. Then he cooled off. And, and, and I always say I feel like he just got tired from being the only guy out there who could really rush the passer like that. But you look at just last year. Th again, this is a year ago. He got nine more sacks than that. He got nine and a half sacks last year versus this year. Just a half a sack. So what is the issue? What is the problem? Even the, the year prior to that with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, he got four and a half sacks. And see, the thing about Justin Houston, when you look at that, his last year was Mike McDonald's first year. Remember that? That was his first year. And we know that Mike McDonald, he improved the pass rush of the Baltimore Ravens a lot. Like even now, Ravens, I believe they only got two sacks the other day um, against uh, the Jaguars but I they, and I know going into that game they were leading the league in sacks I'm not sure if they still are I would assume that they are but Mike McDonald has turned this pass rush around so we know Mike McDonald has a big impact so with Justin Houston is it ability is it that he really fell off that much from the Baltimore Ravens to the Carolina Panthers or is it about scheme is it about the playbook is it about the defensive coordinator I'll let you be the judge of that so those are two guys that the Baltimore Ravens could possibly maybe we'll see but probably not they could possibly bring those guys back but then there's one more there's one more guy that a lot of Ravens fans have been talking about, especially because the Baltimore Ravens have been putting film on tape for him to watch, to be like, hey, come here, please come here. And that is Adamican Sue. Uh, a lot of Ravens fans have been calling for Adamican Sue, especially over these past two weeks, because the Baltimore Ravens have been getting run all over. And it has been, uh, especially in that Rams game. In the Jaguars game, it slowed up because the Ravens started pulling off a little bit. But in that Rams game, oh, my goodness it was nasty so Adam against Sue though he is another possible option for the Baltimore Ravens now that is one that I feel like is the most interesting because with Justin Houston you know the leadership with Mark Ingram you know the vibes with Adam against Sue ooh, you know the ability on the field but he ain't played in a while but then on top of that you hear all this stuff about him you wonder all this stuff about him and apparently uh, according to somebody who covers the Detroit Lions, apparently Adama Gensu wanted to go back to the Lions this year, just last week or the week before last. And, and apparently Adama Gensu reached out to the Lions and it was like, hey, I want to come on. I, I want to sign with the team. I, I want to be a Detroit Lion again. But 
apparently they, they shut it down. They said, no thanks. You are not welcome here. Because apparently, again, this is all alleged and apparent and whatnot, but apparently when, when he was with the Lions before, he, he was doing everything that he possibly could to get out of Detroit. And they remember that, and they were like, mm, yeah, no, no thanks. You wouldn't be good for our team. You wouldn't be good for our culture. So with Adamakin Sue, I'm not sure what type of teammate he is, but the thing about that is you hear a lot of stuff about different players around the league, but a lot of times it just takes them being at the right place at the right time with the right team, the right coaching, st coaching staff, and the right culture. Because we had heard a lot of rumors about Jadavian Clowney as well. We had heard a lot of rumors that he was lazy, that he would take plays off, that he wasn't a good teammate. And then you see him with the Baltimore Ravens and you see everything go the exact opposite of what those rumors say. So with Adamakin Sue, initially that was a big concern of mine, how he would fit in, not as a player, but with the culture, with the vibes of the Baltimore Ravens. And maybe he one of them players like, look, hey, if we win in, I'm cool with whatever. I'm good. I'm straight. Uh, so maybe that's what the case is with Sue. And again, back to Justin Houston, maybe the case is with him. Hey, the scheme that the Panthers ran, maybe it wasn't a good fit. Maybe the coaching wasn't a good fit. Because I just don't see how a player goes from nine and a half sacks in a season to half a sack. So we got to take all those things into consideration. But what do you guys think? What do y'all think about possibly bringing Mark Ingram back? What do you think about the possibility of bringing Justin Houston back? Or the possibility of somebody that has never been here before or uh, but about the Baltimore Ravens adding Adamakin Sue. I want to hear from you on how y'all feeling.